with that said, <laughs> I want to get into the core, the meat, the nuts, the bolts. What we're going to cover today um, is really walking through online sales funnels. What makes for a good online sales funnel? How do you set up a good landing page? What are the key things you put in? What do you, you know, use for content? How do you follow up? How do you qualify people with an online sales funnel? Why is it better than just cold calling and hammering away? There's a lot going on. And I'm going to take a deep dive here behind the curtain into my sales funnel, my online approach. And I'm going to be sharing along the way lots of lessons and strategies. So I don't want to spoil the surprise here. I'm going to hop off camera behind the keyboard. I'll be live in the chat. And I'm going to also share my screen and show you a lot of what goes in to really crafting a killer online sales funnel. So without further ado, let's dive in. So now I want to take a deep dive into the wonderful world of online funnels. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. There's a lot of different components and pieces. And I think the easiest way for me is just to show you what I actually do with an online funnel from A to Z. All these different pieces, all these different parts of it, how they all interact together and how they achieve the end result of getting someone into you know one of my, in this case, a done for you LinkedIn lead gen program. So let's start at the beginning. Basically the first thing you really wanna do is set up a good landing page for a funnel. And when I talk about an online funnel, there's really a couple key components. One is you're giving something away for free, right? So in this case, a free copy of my book, it could be a free bonus training course related to a topic. It could be an on-demand video training. It could be a case study. It could be a webinar like Noon with Nemo. Like th the thing is with a funnel, you're giving away some sort of content, correct? And in exchange for access to that content, uh, someone is gonna enter their email address. And once they enter that email, they are now in your sales funnel, right? And they're gonna be added to your email database. They're gonna be you know, getting follow-up messages from you. They're gonna be put through a campaign and eventually they are going to be offered a product or a service, correct? And so that's the idea of a funnel is let the funnel do all the work for you. Let people go through your online content to get to know, like, and trust you. Let them decide if what you're up to and the training and tips you're providing is a fit for what they wanna do. Let them qualify themselves with a type form, um, which I'll show you in a little bit, which is one of my favorites. Let me find it here. Type form, right? And then on the back end, you get them eventually to a live conversation where you can talk to them and then sell them your product or service. Or if it's an online course, you don't even have to talk to them necessarily. You just give them an offer to buy and that's where you can use software like Deadline Funnel and put deadlines on special offers that are kind of specific to the user. So there's lots of different ways that the funnels will work, but it's three basic things. One is you have a free piece of content. Two is they opt in because they want the free content. Three is you follow up with additional emails, offers, calls to action, and then the resulting thing is they give you money. <laughs> so it's it's pretty simple uh, on its face. There's really just three pieces, but let me show you behind the scenes what goes into a great funnel, kind of the strategy, the secret sauce of what I have found works best. So let me start with a landing page. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and you can see all the different key components. Let me get my drawing tool going. You know, the first thing I like to do is at the top, you have your headline, then you have your opt-in button, then you have some artwork of what the actual free, you know, ethical bribe digital gift is. Then I like to add social proof along the bottom. And then below that, I might put something about the author, the creator, who you are. Uh, I found that again, to go back to my Dale Carnegie quote, how to win friends influence people, nobody cares about you. <laughs> Right? They care about themselves and solving their own problems. So don't start with talking about you and how awesome you are. Nobody cares, right? Start with um, a simple headline, right? And what I found works good is question and then answer, right? Are you looking to blank? Then grab a free copy of blank. Do you want to blank? Then grab a free copy of blank. Super simple. One question promise, uh, one you know, one question and then promise to deliver it. So in this case, want to get more business with LinkedIn, ready to get more business with LinkedIn, grab a free copy of my best-selling book. Very, very simple headline. Ask a question and then offer the solution, okay? And then what I do, you can see I have an, an image of the book here. And then basically all they have to do is click this button. 
This is a double opt-in box. Uh, in other places, just depending on the type of opt-in, I might just already have you know the name and email in that place. Um, it just depends. I have tried both, and I found that this works well. This is kind of a micro commitment. It also lets you fit more onto the page. You know, when you get a different page where you have to, you know, put everything in, it kind of pushes things down. So I like if you can, depending on what software you use, you click yes, send me the free book, and then it just says almost there. Where do we send the book? Right. So they know. Enter the email. Not going to send you spam. And then basically, once they put their email in. They're going to get put, uh, you know, from your landing page into a confirmation page. It's basically going to say, awesome, you know, the book's on its way. If you don't see it, you know, click here to, to um, talk to me. And then I like to have like a next step. So what I like to do is I say, hey, in the meantime, you know, do this, right? In the meantime, watch this video. In the meantime, visit this page. In the meantime, here's a quick bonus training on this topic. For me, I say in the meantime, let's connect on LinkedIn. Because for me, remember this is a lead magnet about how to use LinkedIn. So I wanna connect with people on LinkedIn. So again, use this confirmation page, not just to say, hey, your free material's on its way. Let me know if you don't see it. Uh, offer something else, right? Keep them going. It's like offering another appetizer, another you know cookie, whatever it is. Like in the meantime, go do this, right? So it could be a related training. It could be a related bonus video could be, hey, let's connect live on Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever it's related to, okay? And then I wanna go back, I wanna riff a little bit about what type of content to offer, because I get asked that a lot of, well, what should my you know lead magnet be? What should my free content be? So what I have found, right, I offer all kinds of things. This is an on-demand webinar. Uh, I've got a case study video. I've got obviously live training, live webinars. You you really can't go wrong. I mean, basically, people want free stuff. It's really about what problem it's going to solve for them. Okay, so it's really more about what problem this is going to solve, and also validating your offer. <laughs> I can't state this enough. I have made this massive mistake of going in and building out these insane campaigns with like seven million steps and all these difficult things, right? And then finding out that nobody wanted the product or nobody had this problem or nobody wanted this solution. So make sure that you validate your offer. And, and there's a very simple way to do that. I call it kind of the one question survey. You basically just ask people. So if you have an email list, you ask people on your email list. If you don't have an email list, you just message people on LinkedIn or Facebook and you say, hey, curious, are you looking for help with blank? Uh, you know, Are you looking for help with generated leads on LinkedIn? Uh, or you can say, would you be interested on an ebook that helps you do X? Curious, would you be interested in seeing a case study on blank? Ask people first and validate the offer. So, you know, reach out to 10 people, 20 people, 100 people and say, hey, just curious, you know, um, I'm putting together a case study on blank benefit that I thought you might want. Do you, you know, would you be interested in me sending it over? You know, no worries either way. Let me know. And if enough people are saying, yeah, I'd love to see that, I'd love to see that, then you've have validated your offer. Okay, that's important to say like, hey, just curious, would you be interested in a free training on how to do this, right? Hey, just curious, would you be interested in a case study on this? And if people say yes, then you know your offer is valid and people want that content. So then you need to go create it, right? <laughs> and I know some people are going, well, wait, what, if you ask first and don't have it created, what happens if everyone says yes? Great problem to have. Just save all those people, save their names, save their emails, and reply to them and say, fantastic, I'm in the middle of putting the case study together right now. Once I have it ready, I'll email it over to you. And then you have a ready-made list to kind of launch this offer too, okay? So again, make sure you validate the offer. With that said, with that in mind, I have found the number one best kind of free piece of content to give away is a book. Just if you've got a book, if you've published a book, if you're thinking about writing a book, Nothing on planet Earth works better than a book for this whole thing, for an online funnel, for selling your stuff, for content marketing. Number one with a bullet is a book, uh, either an audio book, a digital book, a printed book, all of the above, right? And one question people often hear or say to me is, well, wait a minute, you give away your whole book for free on your website, which is true, right? Like, let me see if I already got an email from myself. Yep, here's your free copy of LinkedIn Riches. 
So I literally let people download the, the entire audiobook for free or the EPUB file, which works for Kindle, or the PDF version, right? I literally give away the entire book for free. And people are like, man, why would you do that? You work so hard on it. Don't you want to sell the book and make money? I know you had to spend money to you know, create the book and get the design. And here's the, here's the kind of funny reality about all this. And it's a little bit humbling, but uh, nobody knows who I am. <laughs> It's not like, you know, uh, I'm world famous. So here's what I mean. When you publish a book and you sell it on Amazon, which is what, you know, every author does, uh, people coming on Amazon uh, are using it like a search engine. They're going to type it in like LinkedIn book, right? Or LinkedIn marketing book, right? They're going to do like, you know, they're going to use Amazon like a search engine. And that is how they will find and buy your book, okay? They will click on it and go, oh, okay, this looks like it'll solve my problem, LinkedIn and marketing. Okay, this is a book. I'm going to go through. I'm going to look at the reviews. I'm going to look at the ratings. I'm going to, oh, okay, this book offers this, whatever. They'll go ahead and buy your book on Amazon, never hearing of you, right? So 99 cents for the Kindle, 15 bucks for the paperback. Maybe they'll buy the audiobook. You're not going to cannibalize your sales by giving it away free on your website because the reality is people who use Amazon, they're going straight to Amazon to buy something. They're not going to start on Google and type in LinkedIn marketing book, right? And if they do get on Google and type in LinkedIn marketing book, hopefully this page pops up and they go, oh, cool, free book. Either way, you just want to give your book away. Like, I mean, it's a dollar on Kindle just because I don't want to do it completely free. I think, I don't even know if I can make it, maybe I can make it free on Kindle, but at least there, there's like some sort of, you know, transaction. But again, my goal is not to sell the Kindle version for $20, right? It's just to move books because the more people that read your book, the more people that listen to your book, um, the easier it is to sell them. The easier it is on the back end in these funnels to sell your stuff. The better the quality of this content you give away, the easier it is to sell. People always say, well, how are you selling, you know, these higher, higher ticket, high end, you know, five and six figure done for you programs. Everyone that buys it, buys done for you, starts with the book. They read the whole book and they get to know, like, and trust you. They get to hear your story, your hero's journey. They get to see you demonstrate expertise and knowledge. They get to learn about you and learn tips. They get to trust you that way. Then they come to you and go, I'm already sold on you uh, as a person. I really like you. I liked your story. I relate to it. I like your sense of humor, your personality. And I like the tips you shared. They're very exciting. I got some quick wins. What's next? What's more? So that's why I love, love, love books. And I love giving it away for free. And notice, like I'm just giving away the digital files so there's no overhead. I don't have to pay for shipping. I don't have to mail anything. It's just audio, like it's just MP3 file, you know, PDF. So it's a great, simple thing to do. Uh, this is kind of a soapbox thing, but like I can't recommend enough doing a book. Like even if it's not, this book, by the way, is tiny. It's like 100 pages total. It's tiny, right? It's, it's a thin little book, but it's a gold mine. So you don't have to write a, you know, thousand page business tome. It's just something, get something out there, right? Because Amazon's not going to say your book's not long enough, right? They're, again, people don't care how long or short your book is if it gets them results, if it solves their problems. This book is tiny, it's short, it's fast, but you'll see like people say in the, in the reviews, they're like, yeah, like even this one, I didn't even know this. It's a shortcut. It's a shortcut. It's very simple, right? I mean, again, it's short, actionable, simple. So again, don't intimidate yourself and think you have to write a long book. Anyway, all that said, let's keep going on the funnel. So obviously you've got the landing page. The other thing I want to show you about headline, right? Opt-in, um, picture of whatever you're giving away, use some social proof if you have it. So again, where you've been featured. One thing I like to try to do as well is make these links clickable. So if you click on the social media examiner link, it takes you to where I've actually been featured on social media examiner, right? Imagine that, like you can actually verify I was in Inc. Magazine. <laughs> like, There's too many people doing fake credibility scams, like claiming they were featured on all these outlets or you know you can't find them anywhere. So make sure you you know can prove your social proof, right? So here's the LinkedIn blog, I was actually on it. I think that's important with social proof. If you're gonna use it, provide links to, to where you were featured, when you're featured in the publication. People wanna verify. And then at the very bottom is where you can put, 
here's my story, blah, blah, blah. Because remember, again, nobody cares about you. They care about solving their problems. Later, they can get to know they can trust you. So that's, that's how we want to lay out the landing page. Next, I want to show you kind of what happens after you go into the funnel. So now that someone has opted in, they've said, yes, I want your content, what goes on behind the scenes? Well, first off, obviously, you're going to deliver the content. Here's whatever I promised. Here's the links to get it. Can't wait to hear what you think and talk more soon. Now, what happens is I'm going to move them into, I use a tool called Entreport. It doesn't really matter what you use. I don't want you to get hung up on the tools. There's a million different CRMs, softwares, et cetera. There's ConvertKit, there's ClickFunnels, there's Entreport, there's MailChimp, there's tons of them. I'm just gonna show you what I do in Entreport and whatever you know tool you use, you can do the same strategy. But basically, I've got these campaigns and then uh, once a person signs up, I'm gonna put them into a campaign. So let me show you what this thing actually looked like, okay? So again, let me, It's if I scroll out, you're gonna see it's this huge kind of decision tree, right? And it's it's great to, do you remember the choose your own adventure books here? Let me pull those up, hang on. All right, I knew I could find this. God bless you, Amazon. Choose your own adventure. If you were a child of the 80s like me, this was great. There's 40 possible different endings. It was a book about time travel. You as the reader would go through and then choose your own adventure. Like you would choose what direction to go. Like, do you want to try this? Go to page 22. Would you rather try this? Go to page 15, right? That's the idea with funnels, okay, is you have these yes or no decisions. Basically, they will choose their own adventure through your funnel. Do they want more of this and click this link? Yes. Okay, move them here. No, they don't want that. Okay, do this. Wait for this. Send this. And so the real strategy behind this with these funnels is, again, you get to let people self-select, qualify, and choose their own adventure. And the way that you do that is you create multiple emails. And here's an example, right? I've got email one delivers the book. You set you know, a waiting period. Wait three days after you send the email. And then I basically say, okay, let's look at these conditions. And conditions means... Did they click a link in the email? Did they become a client? Did they fill out a form? Whatever it is, you can say yes or no. Like, did they do any of these things? What path did they choose? Oh yes, they chose to become a client, they bought the course, then I end, right? I don't keep going. If no, they didn't, then I'm gonna send email too, right? And then I'm gonna wait three days. And did they become a client? Did they buy this? No, okay, send this, right? So. The idea with these online funnel strategies is creating kind of these decision trees, choose your own adventure setups. And the strategy at a high level is basically, you know, your goal in the end is you want them to become a client or buy your product. So you're going to have this piece that says, you know, did they become a client? If so, end. Actually, I'll click on this and show you what I'm talking about. So like, here's one of the conditions I'm looking for. I'm basically saying, did they buy the course, right? So I'm offering a course for $1,000. If they buy the course, they get a tag inside my system, or did they become a done for you client? If so, they get a tag automatically, right? All this is automatic. So as soon as someone goes through the checkout process, pays money, whatever it is, um, they'll get these tags added. And then the system can check and go, okay, before we move on, um, let's check and see, did they become a client? Did they buy a course, whatever? If yes, we're gonna end this campaign. We don't need to keep marketing to this person because they bought money, you know, paid money, bought a product. If they didn't, this is the powerful part. Again, you can go to the next step, right? Send this email, do this, do this. And so this is where the strategy of funnels is very important. You really wanna figure out like, what journey you want to take someone on and what the end result or goal is. And so, you know, for example, with this funnel, with the free book funnel, my goal is to do one of two things, either to get you to buy the online course, LinkedIn Riches, do it yourself, or to get you um, to fill out, where is it here? Um, a done for you type form, right? And to see, hey, maybe you want us to do LinkedIn lead gen for you. So this whole campaign, all these different emails, what they're gonna do is they're enhancing the message of the book and they're offering additional free tips and free training and they're eventually inserting a call to action in the emails that basically say, hey, are you looking you know, for help? Would you like an online course? Do you wanna learn more about done for you? And so again, we're constantly doing that. We're constantly coming in and offering additional tips, training, whatever it is. And so the way that the funnel works best is again, you know, enhance and build off of what you delivered. 
like continue to, you know, let me see here. Like here's an example. I gave you the free book, right? I wait a couple days and I say, hey, I hope you're enjoying the free content I sent over. Did you know there's also a full bonus training? Like there's a whole online course based on the book that's free. So this is a kind of what you would call a light version of the paid course. This is like a free version of my LinkedIn Riches, you know, online training. And what I'm basically doing is just sharing a couple of key quick wins, right? Just a couple of LinkedIn profile tips, some prospecting and sales tips. And then this is the key thing. I'm building in, you know, um, calls to action. Hey, you know, you've gone through the free content. Do you want more help? You know, and that's why I say want my help. And hey, here's an option to get the full online course. And then here's an option if you want done for you LinkedIn help. So in all the different content you create and all the different funnels that you're using, have a call to action of, are you liking this? Do you want more? Here's how to work with me. That's the very simple strategy of all of this is, yes, I have all this free content I'm giving you. And again, the content is key because the content helps people to get to know, like, and trust you. And the deeper they go, the more of your content they consume, the you know, more it helps them get quick wins, the more they know, like, and trust you, the more likely they are to come and give you money, right? That's the big mistake people make is they think if you know you give them a PDF cheat sheet then you can immediately try to sell them, you know, a five figure program. It doesn't work that way, right? And that's the mistake people make too with, well, I'm just gonna give them a PDF and then start calling them and badgering them and trying to talk them into stuff and sell them. What I have found is you need to let people self-qualify. You need to let people self-select. And that's what these kind of decision tree funnels do. This funnel just keeps giving you free tips. It keeps giving you free information. It keeps building and building and building off of the initial thing. First, you get the free book. You read the book. Along the way, in the funnel, I'm asking you questions. What did you think of the book? Did you like it? Leave me an Amazon review. Hey, you know, right now, do you want to learn about my online course? Right now, do you want to talk about done for you help? If so, go here, go here, do this. If they don't respond to that, again, I have the decision tree in place. If they don't click those links, if they ignore me, then I keep sending stuff. I keep sending, okay, here's another tip, here's another tip, so that you're staying consistent in front of people, you keep offering value, and then eventually, you know, you can move them into even another campaign. So this is one where I actually, if they still haven't become a client, if they still haven't bought the course or filled out a done for you type form, I'm gonna move them to another case uh, or another campaign, which is a case study on how coaches and consultants who've worked with us get five and six figure clients. So the idea with these campaigns is keep delivering free content, keep delivering additional emails, but adding value, like constantly saying, hey, did you find this helpful? Um, in case you didn't know, I've also got this related to the book. Like, or hey, did you miss this LinkedIn profile strategy tip from the book? If you did, here's a little video that will help you get a quick win, right? People will use it, right? And they will kind of, dip a toe in and decide what makes sense to them and where they want to go with it and how deep they want to go. But you're always going to be offering ways to get more. You're always going to be saying, hey, if you want more, this is available. Just as a reminder, if you want more, we can help you. And again, you're doing that while delivering valuable free stuff. So it's very you know normal for people to go through. So then the last big piece of the funnel that I use, and again, the beauty of this, by the way, is I haven't talked to anyone live yet. This doesn't take me any time. Once you create these funnels, it's done. It runs forever, right? So 7,000 people have gone through this funnel. I haven't had to talk to a single one until they are ready to buy. Because I did the work up front, I created the content, I created the bonus courses, I created the calls to action. People are self-selecting. Remember that decision tree, they're going through in that campaign. Yes or no, choose your own adventure. Yes or no, do you want more, do you want more? Now they get to this part where, again, I'm gonna have them fill out a type form. So let me actually show you what that looks like. Find it here. What I do is I'll actually say to people, hey, do you wanna learn more about getting help with LinkedIn? Actually, I'll just go here to this page, it's easier. And again, even with my done for you programs, before I get on the, uh, the phone with someone to do a you know sales call, discovery call, 
I have a whole overview of the program. Like, here's how the done for you works. Here's the different pieces. Like, here's what everything looks like so that they know coming into the call, right, um, how it works. And then at the bottom, I'll basically say, do you want to know more about it? Tell me more about what you do, right? And you can see here, I'm asking all these different questions. And these are very strategic. What I've learned is instead of just hopping on a phone call with someone cold, uh, you want to know more about their situation, correct? Like you want to know, are they qualified? Do they have money? Is this just a side hustle? Um, what are they trying to do, right? What's the goal? What, what's their urgent pain point? You know, how important is this for them? How soon do they need to fix things? You know, how do they currently do X, Y, Z? So I have all these specific questions that I want to ask. And again, what this does is it helps prep and prime me for a sales call. It helps me save time. The number one thing you've got to realize is that um, your most valuable asset is time. And if you don't protect your time, you're going to waste a lot of phone calls and a lot of hours with tire kickers, unqualified people. I know a lot of you are looking at this on the screen and going, no one's ever going to tell you how much they make. No one's ever going to do that. Like that's, that's too personal. They do it all the time. <laughs> they do it all the time. And the reason is you want to know, um, are people serious, right? And sure, are there hundreds of people who probably don't fill this out because they are, oh, I'm not going to share that. Like that's fine. Like they're not qualified. You want to do, do you want to work with someone that doesn't have any revenue? No. Do you want to, do you want to get on the phone and find out 40 minutes into a discovery call that they make less than 5,000 a month and, and don't have the right mindset and this isn't urgent for them? Of course not. So you need to, you need to come from a position of authority and strength and, you know, talk to them and say, Hey, like, look, before I get on the phone with you, like, are you serious? What do you think is preventing you? This is a mindset question. What do you think is preventing you from making this happen? Right, all this, have you used another agency before? This is all what I've learned over time doing these calls live. Like these, oh, are you the sole decision maker? This is the worst, right? When you get on a sales call or discovery call, you get to the offer and they go, that all sounds great. I just need to run up by my business partner. What? <laughs> like you have a partner? You didn't tell me you didn't bring him. Oh no, that tanked everything. So again, these are all things I have learned over time um, from the calls, right? Just trial and error. And so who else is involved? I want to make sure we get them all. What level of service do you want? Like, so you can kind of see if someone says, look, man, I don't have the time. Just do it all for me. And I put ballpark pricing in there just to let people know, Hey, this is a ballpark range. Like, if you just want to do training without support, it's ballpark this much. If you want to do like done with you, this is some ballpark. I don't want to deal with it. Do it all for me. This is ballpark, right? None of these are a good option. And what's beautiful about this, and again, this is before you talk to someone live. We've done all this work with this funnel. We've given people all this free content. You want to, you know, again, you've done all these free things. It's you don't want to waste your time talking to people live if they're not ready to buy, if they don't have money, if it's not urgent. So use the type form. So what I do on the back end of type form is I'm able to go in and look at all these responses and I'm able to see this person says, here's what I do, right? This, 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 like you can then pick and see, does it make sense? What's one new client worth, right? And the reason this is so important is I now know for done for you pricing, I can say, okay, well, if one new client on average is worth $5,000, if we could get you three clients, you know, that would, you know, three X your investment, right? Like, so that's how to make the math very simple for sales is if you know, if they said one new client's worth 25,000, well, that's going to change the pricing, right? So again, you get through, you get all this, right? And you get into the mindset, like what's holding you back? How urgent is it, right? Et cetera, et cetera. And so I'm able to go through all these answers and learn more and learn more about their situation, how long you've been in business, so that when I reach out to this person, when I do a call, I'm able to really customize the approach. I already know coming in what their pain points are. I know, for example, this person does bookkeeping, tax, and you know other services. So before the sales call, I can go in and I can say, oh, okay, you want lead generation, you do bookkeeping. I'm actually gonna show you, let me find Catherine. I know that you're doing bookkeeping or whatever. I actually have a rock star client who's having tons of success. I'm gonna show you her profile and make you a video before the sales call. Think about this. That gives you all the ammunition before the sales call. This person does the same service, 
I'm going to say, oh, cool. We know your world. We've done really well with bookkeeping. Like, here's Catherine. She's, a, you know, one of our big success stories. She actually got 30 clients, no lie, like in 90 days with us. Like, so, you know, we can go through and, and showcase all the stuff that we did for her. I can do all this before I talk to you live. So by the time the person gets onto the live call with me, they're sold, right? Because remember, they've gone through the content, they've read the book, they like the tips, they've gotten to know, like, and trust me because I'm in the content, right? You're putting yourself into the content. They have filled out a type form, they've qualified themselves, they've said, hey, one new client is worth this much to me, it's you know a high ticket service, right? Um, the, here's the problem I'm having, right? I'm not getting enough prospects, I wanna double my revenue, have you used another agency, are you the decision maker, blah, 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 right? So, but I also know ahead of time, before I talk live, oh cool, I've already got examples in this space because that's what people wanna know if you work with people like me. So this is the beauty of an online funnel where again, you start with content, you share content, you send follow-up emails, you have a call to action, which, you know, let me find it again here, I keep losing my own stuff. You have a call to action where you say, hey, before we talk live, I'd love to know more about your situation, your urgency level, how painful is whatever you're struggling with, so that I know, can we help you? Right, because if someone says, hey, I just prefer watching training without support, great, I'm just gonna send them a link to my LinkedIn Riches course and I don't have to get on the phone and talk to them for 45 minutes to find out the online course is actually the best solution. They can just go grab it. This is another great one to put in. From a scale of one to 10, how urgent is it? If someone says 10, I need clients ASAP, that to me says, cool, they're in a lot of pain. They're gonna wanna act now, right? This is another one I add, like, how much do you know about me? And this is where the content funnel comes in. And the more of these they check, I re I've read his book, I've been through his webinars, I'm on his email list. Like, if they check a bunch of these, they're a great prospect because the more they've gone through, the better. If they say, I've never heard or read or listened to any of your stuff, and they come straight away in the type form, I know that, ooh, they need some warming up. Like I'm gonna slow my roll here. I'm not gonna try to immediately get on the phone with them. I'm gonna you know, slow it down because they've never read anything. So that's the beauty of this. And that's how honestly I've been able to scale my time. Because people ask me that all the time. They're like, well, how do you do all this? And the thing is, is it a lot of work to set up an online funnel? Yes, <laughs> but here's the thing. It's one and done. Once you set this up, it's done. Once you set up these campaigns, they are done, they run forever and thousands of people go through them because you've created the content, you've made it evergreen, you've created the follow-up emails, you've created you know, the bonuses, the type form, all that, and now it just does it over and over and over again and it saves you time. So the only people you're talking to live on the phone or on a Zoom call are qualified. They're warmed up, they've told you what they want, they're ready to go and that makes the sales conversions much, much better because again, you're not wasting your time. The, the big mistake I used to make before was someone would opt in, say, I like your book and I would immediately get on the phone with them. And then I would have to do all this legwork, you know, on the call. Like, what do you do? Tell me more about your situation. And instead you can do it all online. And the beauty of this is again, you have enough traffic on the internet. There's, you know, there's 900 million people on LinkedIn, put them through it. Put these people through it. You don't need to talk to all 7,000 people on your funnel. You just need to talk to the seven people that are ready to buy now, right? If you're selling a high ticket service. That's the big mistake is you don't want to or need to talk to everyone. You need people to earn the right to talk to you. You need people to prove they're a good fit by jumping through some hoops, by consuming your content, by filling out your type form, by you know looking through your materials before they talk to you live. And what that does is it saves you time so that only the most serious, most qualified prospects actually talk to you live. Because again, with the internet, you can scale all this. You can scale everything. So you can reach out to you know hundreds of people a day on LinkedIn, say, are you interested in LinkedIn tips? You can get hundreds of people to say yes. You can opt in hundreds of people a day who want LinkedIn tips. You can send hundreds, if not thousands of people through these funnels, and it will spit out on the other side, right? hundreds of people that are great leads, okay? 165 people that went through all the hoops, that filled it out. And again, I'm selling a five and six figure high ticket service here, so I'm happy to talk to these people live because they're qualified, right? If it's the online course I wanna route them to, that's fine. I can just say, okay, cool. We've got all these online courses based on what you're telling me. 
you know, this is going to be the right course, go grab it. And again, they will grab it because they've gone through the, you know, free version of it. They've gone through and said, oh, yeah, I went through the book training. Is your paid course similar to that? Oh, yeah. In fact, what I put in the book training bonus, this is actually pulled straight from the online course. So there you have it. I know we covered a lot, but that's really a deep dive behind the curtain into, you know, my most successful online sales funnels. All right, so I'm back on camera live. This has been incredible because Catherine Bishop, it's so funny that like the universe converges, like literally I was creating this training this morning and I, you of course came up like you always do. And then here you are live on the call. <laughs> like people are going to think this is staged. Like look her up people. She's real. It's not, Catherine is not a paid actor or performer. <laughs> I just love the fact that, you know, things validate themselves this way. So um, that is awesome. Okay. Uh, Super Mario is asking, where do I find the previous webinars? Okay. So I will put that in the link. Um, Mario. It's me. I'm Mario. Here is a link to the previous sessions, trainings. So I'm going to put that in. Um, all right. So I want to say this quick before I forget. Um, if you found today's sales training helpful online funnels, let me ask you a very simple question. So I'm looking for a yes or no in the comments here. Would you like me to take all the guesswork out for you? Would you like, yes or no? Would you like all the guesswork removed from what I just showed you? Would you like all the pain removed? Would you like all the guesswork, all the, oh, I don't know how to do it. Would you like that all removed? Yes or no? When it comes to building an online sales funnel, when it comes to knowing what to say, yes or no, would you like to have all the guesswork removed? So I'm waiting. All right, Keith says yes. Glory! Keith, I'm so glad you made it in live today, man. Um, all right, Mario says thank you. You smile every time. Okay, well, Mario then. Hey, it's -a me. It's -a Mario. I am going to win. Okay. <laughs> I think that's a Mario Kart. But anyway, uh, yes, Keith says yes. I need more yeses. Who else wants all the guesswork removed from online funnels? All right, here they come. Robert says yes. All right, Super Mario Yes, it's a million body. I want that to get some work removed. All right, good, good. God. I love it. I love it. I love it. Matt says yes. Reagan says, oh my God, I have Nintendo in my head now. That's that's the goal, Reagan. All right. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to give you a, a, the opportunity to remove all the guesswork. I'm going to do something really fun and special here. So uh, I am going to give you an opportunity to grab my exact step-by-step -step sales training. Uh, and it's all about how to take all the guesswork out to remove uh, all that you know uncertainty from building sales funnels. So I'm gonna put it in here, get the sales funnel training here. And I also popped up a new window for everybody. Uh, and then I'll launch an offer, get the sales training here. It's an online course. I'm going to show it to you in just one second. Um, and I'm going to do a special offer today. So anybody that signs up for this training today, it's called it's my sales strategy scripts and secrets. Let me show it to you real quick. Anyone that signs up for this today, right here live right now, you're going to get a bonus live call with me. So we will do, should I do 15 or 30 minutes? Um, Tell me in the comments if you want a free 15-minute one-on-one consulting call with me or if you want a 30-minute one-on-one one -on -one call with me. Tell me right now in the comments which you want, 15 or 30-minute bonus free call uh, of me one-on-one -on -one coaching and consulting you on this, on LinkedIn, whatever you want. So right now, the screen sharing, I'm showing you the sales scripts and strategies training. The video you saw today is from that course. It takes out all the guesswork. It's going to show you all these different elements of the sales process. So how to get these ready to buy prospects, how to pre-qualify them, the single best type of content that pre-qualifies people, works like a charm, the exact questions to ask on a sales call. So like in order, what do you ask? Again, removing all the guesswork, like literally what do you say? How do you say it on a call? Um, literally word for word sales scripts and closing tips, like exactly how I do a sales call, seven different secrets to selling online, Again, there's going to be all the funnel secrets and strategies, structure and layout, copy and paste. A good tip here, how you can sell a $1,500 product in five minutes or less. True story. 
Uh, yeah, we've got a Shark Tank interview in there from somebody, $5 billion in sales, consulting clients, mindset tips. All of it's in here right now if you sign up today. Just one payment, four ninety seven. dollars Do you think about what one sale is worth to you? Like if you can get one sale out of this course, you're going to what? 5x, 10x, 20x, 100x the investment. <laughs> so it should be for, for most of people I know on here, one sale for you is a heck of a lot more than 497 bucks. And anyone that signs up today, uh, you're going to get a 15 or 30 minute one-on-one -on -one call. I have to decide. Uh, I'm going to look at the comments here in a second. So let me hop over. All right, people are saying 30, 30, 30. All right, <laughs> Super Mario wants 30. It's -a me, it's -a Mario, I'm in a Canada. Give me some investments. All right, Keith and Mario, if you sign up right now, 30 minute bonus call. Sign up right now, 30 minute bonus call. Uh, anyone else who does it right now live on the training are getting um, all this guesswork removed, okay? Um, all right, da, 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 da. I love it. I'm reading all the comments. Keith wants 60 minutes. Sheesh. That's a little meme for everybody. Keith, come on, man. You're killing me. Sign up for this, though for the sales scripts and strategies call. And I'll keep an eye on the little alerts. Tell me in the comments if you're signing up uh, because I want to make sure I know that um, and then can give you the link for the 30 minute one-on-one -on -one call. Um, and again, all my online courses come with a free 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no like risk involved. You get to do it. All right, I'm getting dings. All right, somebody just signed up. Let me see. Oh, Keith, glory. All right, Keith, I love it. So Keith, we're going to book a one-on-one -on -one call, uh, 30 minutes on Zoom for me, and I will analyze your sales funnel. We can talk LinkedIn, lead gen, content, whatever it is you want. So um, anyone else who's signing up right now, tell me in the comments. By now, I hope Super Mario is signing up because, I mean, man, I, I can keep – Mario, if you want, I can do the whole 30-minute bonus call in that voice. Hey, it's -a me, a John, and a Mario. <laughs> Uh, we can play Nintendo, Mario, if you want, for 30 minutes. I'm totally down with that. Um, I would love to talk with you, Mario, too, about a deeper dive into some of the things I've seen work well for investment professionals with lead gen and branding and personality and content, because I know for, for your area, that's that can be a tricky one. So let me know if you're signing up. Keith is in for his 30 minutes. Um, also, I let me see for questions. This is more like therapy and training. <laughs> trying, man. I'm trying, Keith. Get you excited. Um, let me know if you're signing up. I'm getting more alerts. Okay, so uh, if you're signing up, put it in the comments. Um, I know we have other questions too. Ask away. This is your chance to ask in the chat too if you have questions. Um, and let me make sure um, I answer those because I saw one came in. Let me go back to it. Um, Mike is saying, are you suggesting, okay, let me turn on the camera too. So let me put get the training and bonus one-on-one -on -one call here. Okay. So let me put that in. All right. Um, and then let me pop this in to make sure. Okay. So we got some good questions coming in. Let me grab those and I will screen share. So you know what the heck I'm talking about. Um, all right. So. Anthony, I have an entry-level service for 500 bucks a month, recurring billing. Oh, nice. So one new client, six grand a year. Later on, I have higher ticket. Does your funnel strategy apply for lower ticket that don't require? Yes. Yes, it does. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So I cover both like just how to automatically sell an online course without talking to people live um, along with the higher ticket sales. So Yes. And let me show you inside the training. That's good. Um, and I have somebody asking a question on the live chat. So let me pop over there. Let's see who this is. Oh, yeah, Anthony, that's you in the live chat, too. Okay. So to show answer your question, Anthony, yes, I cover in the funnel both high ticket and low ticket. Let me see. Okay. Here's the actual training. So again, you can see like all my courses, it's in Thinkific. So how to qualify people, right? How to get them qualified, the best content. We talked about client attracting content, what we do on the different sales calls, right? What to say, you know, how to sell without being sleazy. So literally like you'll get, you know, the notes, you'll get the psychology, you'll get some of my Jedi mind tricks, right? Um, that really help convert people. And the beautiful thing too for Anthony is you can implement this for, lower ticket items that you just sell online. Like you can still use this as copy in, you know, sales emails. Um, so I'll talk all about that. 
we've obviously got, you know, the specific secrets to selling online, you know, clients, all that good stuff. Um, oh, I got to change the media on one of those. Okay. So anyway, yes, um, all of that's included, right? You can see there's even more here, sales funnels, pages, got a bunch of additional bonus tips and case studies. So there's a lot packed in here. And also, um, Anthony or anyone else too that's signing up, like you'll get that 30 minute bonus call. Mario, super bye. Hey, it's a me, it's a Mario. All right, baby, you're in. I love it, Mario. Let me check. All right, so, okay, cool, cool, cool. I see you in there, Mario. Nice. Hey, it's a me. Okay, so Mario's got a 30 minute bonus call. We've got Keith has got a 30 minute bonus call. Again, I'm always updating the training too. So I'm adding new videos. I'm adding new items to it. So you'll get that all included with today's offer, like lifetime access, lifetime updates. It's all on demand. So you can go through it right away. Um, and then uh, also I will email you a link to do the one-on-one -on -one bonus call. Um, and Anthony has got more questions. Let's see here. The partner does a qualifying sales call, but what the form you said, yeah, you, you don't have to do a qualifying call. Like that's type form. Right. And I think somebody asked about that lower down. Um, somebody asked about type form and where that goes in the process. Katie did. What's the strategy to get type form filled out in the funnel? Yes. And to your point, Anthony, yeah, like you don't need to do the qualifying anymore. That's what type form is for. Uh, where it goes in the funnel, I put it in several different places. So, you know, to answer that question, it really depends on where the prospect is in the journey. Like this isn't the first thing I'm going to do is say, Hey, fill out a type form before I give you anything. I'm going to give you a bunch of free content first. Like I'm going to have you, you know, go through the book, get some follow-up emails. And then as you're going through it, that's when I'm going to be saying, Hey, you know, are you looking for, you know, additional help? Are you looking for whatever, whatever? And that's where then I'll, I'll be putting that in. But here's the goal. Like when someone says to me, for example, They'll come to me on LinkedIn, Anthony, and they'll say, hey, I'm curious in learning about your services. Can we have a discovery call or whatever? I don't do that. I don't say, sure, I'll get on the phone with you immediately. You said you're interested. You have a pulse. I'll talk to you. What I do is I say, hey, that's fantastic. I'm glad you want to learn more about our done for you. Before we talk live, what I have found is most helpful is having you fill out a quick online form. The reason being that way I can learn more about you, your unique situation, your unique business model, what you've got going on and save you time. This is where I go Dale Carnegie because I want to save you time um, to make sure we're the right fit. We would be the right solution. I don't want to waste your time getting on the phone with you, learning all this and then telling you I'm not the right person to help. So that way then people are like, oh, okay, well, you're, you're trying to help me. I'll fill out your form, right? And that works really well, Anthony. So yeah, no, and I'm not trying to say don't build rapport first. Absolutely not. But you don't need to build rapport by getting on the phone. That's the difference. And that's the difference of online funnels and online content is, again, you can build rapport by giving them content. Like this builds all the rapport. You get to know, like, and trust me through the book. You get to see me demonstrate expertise. You get to see me help you get quick wins. Uh, or if I do like a bonus training, right, and you can come in and get, you know, quick wins from that. We're building rapport through that because you're putting your personality into your content. That's the difference. Because what's so draining about this is, you know, going into this call, like there's no chance at a sale because they're ice cold. They've never met me. They don't know me. They don't like me. They don't trust me. What I'm saying with this training, with this program is, no, 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 no. We create ready to buy prospects before you talk live, like through the content through the funnel, through the follow-up, through the type form, they don't get on the phone with you and you don't give up your most precious asset, which is time, unless and until they have chosen their own adventure to get to that point. Even with cold prospects I get on LinkedIn, I don't, you know, just because someone says they want to talk to you on the phone doesn't mean you should. You know, even if they look like a great prospect and look like they have money and all that stuff, you still don't want to get on the phone with them right away because they don't know you. They don't like you. They don't trust you. There's still that emotional part you have to build rapport with. Yes, you can do that in a phone call or a Zoom, but it's a lot of effort. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of one-on-one -on -one work. And then now you have to go back and do it again and circle back. What I've done, like even with my done for you programs, to give you an example, as I say, Hey, I'm really glad you're interested in LinkedIn. Um, before we talk live, like, 
just to give you an overview, like if you like, just go through and watch this video, right? And I basically want to say to them and put their feet to the fire and be like, hey, are you really interested? If you are, here's the whole process. Here's the secret sauce. Here's how we do everything. Here's why it works. Here's what clients say. Go ahead and watch all that while I narrate it and explain it to you. And then if you still are really excited and interested, then let's talk live, right? Because again, you're pre-qualifying them with content with the funnels. So let me do this. I want to make sure we get to all the questions. It, my book's only 12 pages long. Is that enough? Yo, oh, yeah. For publishing on Amazon? Yeah, of course. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's two pages. Like as long as it has value, um, Amazon's not going to, as far as I know, as long as your book is like, 5,000 words or more, I think you should publish it on Amazon. You know, a typical quote ebook is like 1,500 words, 2,000 words. It's more the word count. My book, LinkedIn Riches, is 112 pages or something, right? As a paperback printed book. But again, it's very, that's very short. So hopefully that uh, helps answer that question. I know Mike had a good question. Uh, okay, here that is. And let me know if you're signing up before we run out of time. I want to look and see if others are signing up. Again, 30-minute bonus call if you sign up right now with me one-on-one. So Mike says, are you suggesting we use um, memorized scripts? No, no, right? I'm suggesting it's, you know, again, that what I do is I give you the questions to ask, but and I give you kind of what I say on a call, but you're absolutely right. Like you have to make it your own, correct? So for example, one of the questions I ask to, to make sure we can get people to a decision is I say, you know, this is in the sales course, but I basically say, hey, you know, assuming we can agree on the investment level today or the price today, is there any other reason you wouldn't want to move forward? And the idea there is let's make sure before we talk money, every other objection is on the table. And I'm also talking urgency in that question. Assuming we can agree on the pricing, assuming we can agree on the investment level, is there any other reason you wouldn't want to start today? And what that does is that helps you flush out any other core issues. Oh, yeah, I would not want to start today because I'm getting surgery tomorrow. Like, oh, OK, well, it doesn't make sense to talk through the pricing and the investment when you're going to be out for the next month with surgery. Let's circle back, because once you put a price out there, then they might go, okay, well, I'll come back in six months and I want that price. You know what I mean? So like, I'm going to give you the questions and the scripts and the strategies I use, but absolutely, I don't want you to be a robot. It's more about guiding you and being like, you know, here's what to say as far as like, you know, what words you want to use, but also the strategy, right? So like one strategy is getting the decision makers on the call. You don't want to get sabotaged on a sales call where they're like, this all sounds awesome. Now I just need to talk to my business partner. Or now I just need to talk to my spouse, which is totally fine and acceptable. But you want the spouse or the decision maker on the call. Like you don't want to go through all the effort. Just like with you, Anthony, where it's like, I know for, or with Mike, yeah, with Anthony, it's like, if I know that Anthony has a business partner, there's no way I'm getting on a sales call with Anthony unless the partner's on there too, right? Like I would want to pre-qualify Anthony with that question on the type form. And that's another very valuable thing, too, is I'm going to walk you through what to put in the type form and what to ask and how to pre-qualify, because there's so much in there that will save you just enormous amounts of time <laughs> qualifying people. So this is all awesome stuff. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah. And Amazon does like micro commitment. You're right. I mean, I think Amazon needs content. They need you to be publishing. So good stuff. All right. Let's do this. Before we finish, um, before we jump offline. I want to make sure, honestly, anyone watching right now live, um, you do get a 30-minute one-on-one bonus call with me. And I know Super Mario has already signed up for it. Keith has already signed up for it. I'm not sure. I can look at my phone to see. Somebody else did. I don't know how to read that email. <laughs> um, let me know in the comments if you're signing up because that will verify for me that I'm going to give you the 30 minutes. So if you're ready, um, think about this, like even just buying the consulting time for me. Like, you're going to love this course. It's going to give you and remove all the guesswork for you. And I want to make sure that that's simple and easy to do. So before we finish up, put that in there. Uh, more stuff is dinging. That's always a good sign. <laughs> put it in there that you're signing up. Um, and then I'll make sure that we get that. And then um, get the free training plus bonus all here. I'm going to put that in one more time. I'm going to pop that open. And that way we can finish up because I know we're going to run over time. Um, and I want to make sure everybody got their questions answered. So if you have more questions, 
Uh, if you're signing up, let me know that either here on the webinar or in the live chat on the um, program page, and we'll get you going. Like, I want to take all the guesswork out. I want to make this easy for you. All my courses come with the risk-free 30-day my bag guarantee, so there's no drama. There's no shenanigans. Like, if it's not for you, whatever, no big deal. So, oh my gosh, I'm excited. I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. It is honestly doing a really good sales funnel online, understanding how to put it together. It's the number one way to scale yourself, to scale your time, to qualify your prospects, to make it very, very simple to sell. And I mean, it's really honestly what's exploded my business is being able to take all that work you do on offline, like calling people, whatever, whatever, and doing all that. And instead being able to just have it all online, move them through it, thousands of people. So they all funnel down to the perfect prospects. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. With that said, let's do this. Let's have people hop over to the program page, which is in the chat at the top there. Just click that link. We can live chat one-on-one -on -one more there. And um, with that said, anybody that signs up here, we're going to get you going. Um, Mario has a good question about the 30 minute bonus call. Anything you suggest I should do or prepare yourself for the live 30 minutes. I would say, honestly, Mario, just come ready to ask questions. Like, and you can send me questions ahead of time. I'll send you the link for the 30 minute call. But basically, if you know, like, hey, here's what I want to pick your brain about for these 30 minutes. These are the core things I want to know. If you want to go through, ideally go through the training first, Mario, and then you can kind of come with questions about that. Or if you want to use it just as a general call and give me your kind of overview on what you're trying to do, I can help you, you know, break it down that way too. So, I mean, lots of good options, right? Because it's a me, a Mario. All right. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Excited for those of you that are signing up like Mario and Keith. Um, get your 30 minute bonus. And with that said, I will go ahead and uh, end the live webinar for now. Hop over to the program page. I have one-on-one -on -one chat on there. So you can talk to me live and we'll get you going and we'll see you uh, regardless next week for another noon with Nemo. Thanks everybody.